I now uh, recognize Representative Dean Phillips of Minnesota for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and a heartfelt welcome, Mr. Secretary. Uh, let me start by celebrating uh, your support of the creation of a special envoy for the Horn of Africa. Um, I support that as well. Uh, you know better than anybody here that I think special envoys are most effective when they have a limited mandate, uh, and they're empowered by their Secretary of State. Uh, so with that in mind, can you just speak very quickly, if you would, about how you envision uh, that operating, uh, that mandate, mm -hmm. and how it works into your overall plan for the Horn of Africa? Well, simply put, we, uh, we need a senior person who is going to be focused full-time on the challenges that we're seeing uh, in the Horn of Africa, but particularly uh, when it comes to the, the uh, very challenging situation uh, in Tigray mm -hmm. uh, and, and Ethiopia, but also uh, challenges with regard to uh, the uh, Grand Renaissance Dam, also, or for that matter, uh, when it comes to, uh, to Sudan and Ethiopia. So uh, we want to make sure that we have our resources dedicated to focusing on that uh, at a senior level in a, in a sustained way. And I hope we're able to move forward on that um, in, the, in, the, in the weeks ahead. Okay, wonderful. Um, I want to speak about misinformation, disinformation mm -hmm. as well, too. I know you've covered a little mm -hmm. bit of it, but uh, we all witnessed, uh, many of us in the very room, in fact, in the House chamber, uh, how disinformation uh, can affect our country, how susceptible we are, our whole democracy, not to mention the entire free world. Uh, and I believe the production of and distribution of disinformation by my malign actors, uh, China, Russia, as examples, are as threatening to our country and the world as missiles, as viruses, uh, and uh, military force. Uh, and on the other end of the spectrum, we have countries like Burma and Ethiopia who are shutting down the internet. Uh, as a way to limit the very free speech and the communication that we all value so highly. So I know you addressed a little bit of this, but how do you intend to employ diplomatic tools to confront these growing challenges? One of the uh, responsibilities that the department has, and uh, again, it's an area we're going to spend a lot of time and focus on and resources on, is uh, leading the effort around the world uh, on, among other things, um, setting the norms and standards for conduct uh, in cyberspace, including when it comes to misinformation and, and disinformation. So we are, um, I think, going to uh, strengthen uh, and augment our efforts uh, in that area and actually exert uh, American leadership. One of the challenges I think that we face uh, broadly in, in misinformation and disinformation comes into play here is that uh, increasingly we see a division in the world between uh, technologically sophisticated democracies and technologically sophisticated autocracies. And we need to make sure that the technologically sophisticated democracies are actually working together, standing together to build better defenses, better resilience, but also to take on uh, those countries that are abusing cyberspace, including with misinformation here, here. and disinformation. So we'll be Effective. organized to do that. Just before my time expires, you mentioned earlier you might need more support to these ends. Uh, can you share with us? Uh, what time has expired? We look forward to sending forward the budget and hope we get support for it. Touche.